Welcome to our channel where we explore the world's most fascinating facts and discover the undiscovered. Today, we are traveling back in time to ancient Egypt to uncover the mysteries of the pyramids. We'll explore the history, construction, and significance of these monumental structures that have captivated people for centuries. Segment 1. History of Pyramids To truly understand the pyramids, we need to go back to their origins. In this segment, we'll explore the history of the pyramids, starting with their first appearance in the Third Dynasty. We'll discuss how they evolved over time, from the early steppe pyramids to the iconic Great Pyramids of Giza. We'll also talk about the pharaohs who commissioned them and their significance in ancient Egyptian culture. The pyramids are perhaps the most recognizable and enduring symbol of ancient Egypt. These monumental structures were built over a period of more than 2,000 years, from around 2700 BCE to 1700 BCE, and served as tombs for pharaohs and their consorts. The first pyramids were built during the Third Dynasty, around 2686 BCE. These early pyramids were called, step pyramids, because they were constructed in a series of steps, with each level smaller than the one below it. The most famous of these early pyramids is the Pyramid of Djoser, built for the pharaoh Djoser by his vizier Imhotep. Over time, the design of the pyramids evolved, with the most famous and iconic pyramids being the Great Pyramids of Giza. These pyramids were built during the 4th dynasty, around 2500 BCE, and are located on the outskirts of modern-day Cairo. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the largest of the pyramids and was built for the pharaoh Khufu. It stands 147 meters tall and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years. The second largest pyramid is the Pyramid of Khafra, built for the pharaoh Khafra. And the third largest is the Pyramid of Menkora. The construction of the pyramids required a massive workforce, with estimates suggesting that it took between 20,000 to 100,000 workers to build the Great Pyramid of Giza alone. These workers were not slaves, as was previously believed, but rather skilled laborers who were paid for their work. They were housed in temporary settlements near the construction site and were provided with food, clothing, and medical care. The construction of the pyramids was an incredible feat of engineering that required precise planning and organization. The stones used to build the pyramids were quarried from nearby limestone cliffs and transported to the construction site on sledges pulled by workers. Once at the site, the stones were cut and shaped with copper chisels and then lifted into place using ramps and pulleys. The completion of a pyramid was a massive undertaking that could take over 20 years to complete. Once finished, the pyramid would serve as the final resting place for the pharaoh and his consorts, who were buried with an array of treasures and offerings to ensure their safe passage into the afterlife. Segment 2. Construction of Pyramids The construction of the pyramids was an incredible feat of engineering that required a vast amount of planning and organization. In this segment, we'll dive into the construction process, from quarrying and transporting the massive stones to the actual building of the pyramids. We'll talk about the tools and techniques used by the ancient Egyptians to create these massive structures and how they managed to build them with such precision. The construction of the pyramids was an incredible feat of engineering that required precise planning, organization, and a massive workforce. The process of building a pyramid was a complex and time-consuming one, involving several stages. Planning and Design Before construction could begin, detailed planning and design were necessary. The architects and engineers first had to decide on the size, shape, and location of the pyramid. They also needed to select the materials and determine how they would be transported to the construction site. The layout of the pyramid and the internal chambers were also carefully planned out. Quarrying and transporting the stones. The limestone blocks used to construct the pyramids were quarried from nearby cliffs. The workers used copper chisels and stone hammers to extract the blocks from the bedrock. Once the blocks were extracted, they were transported to the construction site on sledges pulled by workers or using boats along the Nile River. The blocks were often transported from quarries located several kilometers away from the construction site. Shaping and lifting the stones. Once the blocks arrived at the construction site, they were cut and shaped to fit precisely into place. The blocks were usually shaped into rectangular or trapezoidal shapes, with angled sides that would allow them to fit together tightly. The blocks were lifted into place using ramps and pulleys. The ramps were built using mud and bricks and were used to lift the blocks up to the level where they were needed. 
Internal Chambers and Passages The pyramids had internal chambers and passages that were designed to house the pharaoh's body and his belongings. The chambers were usually located in the center of the pyramid and were accessible through a series of narrow passageways. The passages were designed to be long and winding, with several traps and dead-end passages to confuse any potential tomb robbers. Finishing Touches After the pyramid was complete, the finishing touches were added. The exterior was often covered in polished limestone, giving the pyramid a smooth and reflective surface. The entrance to the pyramid was sealed with large stone blocks to prevent unauthorized access. Finally, the pharaoh's burial chamber was filled with his body, along with treasures and offerings that were believed to help him in the afterlife. The construction of a pyramid could take over 20 years to complete, and required the work of tens of thousands of workers. The process was a massive undertaking that required precise planning and execution. However, the end result was a lasting tribute to the pharaoh's power and legacy, and continues to inspire awe and wonder today. Segment 3, Inside the Pyramids While the outside of the pyramids is impressive, the inside is just as fascinating. The intricate passageways and chambers that make up the interior of the pyramids. We'll discuss the purpose of these chambers, including the pharaoh's burial chamber and the various antechambers. We'll also examine the elaborate carvings, hieroglyphics, and paintings that adorn the walls of these chambers and what they tell us about ancient Egyptian beliefs and culture. The interior of the pyramids is just as fascinating as their exteriors. The pyramids were designed as elaborate tombs for the pharaohs, and their interior chambers and passages were carefully constructed to ensure the safe passage of the pharaoh's spirits to the afterlife. Here's what you can expect to find inside the pyramids. Entrance the entrance to the pyramid is typically located on the north face, and is usually sealed off with large stone blocks. The entrance would have been guarded by priests and officials during the pharaoh's reign, but would have been sealed permanently after the pharaoh's death. Descending Passage Once inside the pyramid, you'll find a narrow, sloping passageway known as the Descending Passage. This passage descends deep into the pyramid, often at a steep angle, before opening up into a larger chamber. The descending passage was designed to discourage tomb robbers and provide a symbolic journey to the underworld. Subterranean Chamber At the end of the descending passage, you'll find the subterranean chamber. This chamber is usually located beneath the pyramid and is often unfinished. It was designed to be the original burial chamber, but later abandoned in favor of a more secure location. Ascending Passage After passing through the subterranean chamber, you'll come to the ascending passage. This passage leads up to the main burial chamber and is usually steep and narrow. Grand Gallery The Grand Gallery is a large, impressive chamber that serves as a transitional space between the ascending passage and the main burial chamber. The gallery is often decorated with ornate carvings and inscriptions. King's Chamber The King's Chamber is the main burial chamber of the pharaoh. This chamber is usually located near the center of the pyramid and is accessible through a series of narrow passageways. The walls of the chamber are often made of solid granite and are decorated with carvings and inscriptions. Queen's Chamber In some pyramids, you may also find a queen's chamber. This chamber is usually smaller and less ornate than the king's chamber, and was likely used to house the pharaoh's consorts. The interior of the pyramids provides a glimpse into the elaborate funerary rituals and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. The intricate passageways and chambers were designed to protect the pharaoh's body and belongings, and to ensure the safe passage of his spirit to the afterlife. Despite centuries of exploration and excavation, the pyramids continue to hold many secrets, and their interior chambers remain a source of wonder and fascination for people around the world. Segment 4, Myths and Legends The pyramids have been the subject of countless myths and legends throughout history. In this segment, we'll explore some of the most popular and enduring myths surrounding the pyramids, including the idea that they were built by aliens or that there are secret chambers yet to be discovered. We'll separate fact from fiction and discuss the real significance of these structures in ancient Egyptian culture. The pyramids of Egypt have been the subject of myths and legends for thousands of years. Here are a few of the most interesting stories. The Curse of the Pharaohs Perhaps the most famous myth surrounding the pyramids is the curse of the pharaohs. According to legend, anyone who disturbs the tomb of a pharaoh will be cursed with bad luck, illness, or death. 
While there is no scientific evidence to support this myth, it has persisted for centuries and continues to capture the public imagination. Aliens built the pyramids. Another popular myth is that the pyramids were built by aliens or other supernatural beings. This theory is often used to explain the precise engineering and construction techniques used in the pyramids. However, there is no evidence to support this theory, and it is generally dismissed by mainstream archaeologists and scientists. Hidden Chambers and Treasures There are many stories about hidden chambers and treasures inside the pyramids. Some people believe that the pharaohs hid vast amounts of gold and other treasures inside their tombs, waiting to be discovered by intrepid explorers. While some treasures have been found inside the pyramids, they are typically much smaller than the legends suggest. Pyramids are giant power plants. Some people believe that the pyramids were actually giant power plants, designed to harness and distribute energy throughout Egypt. This theory is based on the precise geometric measurements of the pyramids and their alignment with celestial bodies. However, there is no evidence to support this theory, and it is generally considered pseudoscientific. Pyramid Symbolism Finally, there are many stories about the symbolic meaning of the pyramids. Some people believe that the pyramids represent the pharaoh's ascent to the afterlife, while others see them as a symbol of the pharaoh's power and authority. Still others believe that the pyramids represent the ancient Egyptians' deep connection to the cosmos and the universe. While these myths and legends are fascinating, it's important to remember that they are just that. Myths and legends. The pyramids of Egypt are incredible feats of engineering and construction, but they were built by human hands using ancient tools and techniques. The truth behind the pyramids is just as fascinating as the legends, and it continues to inspire scientists and explorers around the world. Segment 5, Legacy of the Pyramids Even today, the pyramids continue to inspire awe and wonder in people around the world. In this final segment, we'll examine the lasting legacy of the pyramids and their impact on the world. We'll discuss their role in modern tourism and their ongoing importance as symbols of ancient Egyptian civilization. We'll also talk about the ongoing efforts to preserve and protect these remarkable structures for future generations. The pyramids of Egypt are one of the most enduring and recognizable symbols of the ancient world. Their legacy is vast and includes many different aspects of human life and culture. Architecture The pyramids are a testament to the incredible engineering and construction skills of the ancient Egyptians. They remain some of the largest and most complex structures ever built, and their precise alignment and measurement continue to fascinate modern architects and engineers. Religion and Belief the pyramids were built as elaborate tombs for the pharaohs, and they were designed to ensure the safe passage of the pharaoh's spirit to the afterlife. As such, they are a testament to the ancient Egyptians' religious beliefs and practices. The pyramids continue to inspire and influence religious practices and beliefs today, particularly in Egypt and other parts of the Middle East. Art and Decoration The pyramids are also remarkable for their art and decoration. The walls and passageways inside the pyramids are often decorated with intricate carvings and hieroglyphs, which provide insight into the daily life and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. Many of these carvings and inscriptions continue to inspire and influence artists today. Tourism The pyramids of Egypt are a major tourist attraction and draw millions of visitors from around the world each year. They are an important source of revenue for the Egyptian economy and have become a symbol of the country's rich cultural heritage. Science and Technology Finally, the pyramids continue to inspire scientific research and discovery. Archaeologists and scientists are constantly working to unlock the secrets of the pyramids and to understand how they were built and why. As such, the pyramids are a testament to human curiosity and the power of scientific inquiry. The legacy of the pyramids is vast and varied, and their enduring impact on human culture and history is a testament to their incredible engineering, art, and symbolism. They continue to inspire and fascinate people around the world, and their legacy is sure to endure for many centuries to come. Conclusion As our journey comes to an end, we hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for the pyramids and their place in history. These remarkable structures stand as a testament to the ingenuity, skill, and determination of the ancient Egyptians and continue to inspire wonder and awe in visitors from around the world. While there are still many mysteries surrounding the pyramids, ongoing scientific research and discovery continue to shed light on their construction and significance. Thank you for joining us on this adventure, 
and we look forward to exploring more of the world's most fascinating historical sites with you in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with your friends and family and spread the knowledge with entertainment. Join our community of curious minds and never stop learning. Subscribe now!